So Rex VK7MO uh, came to me looking for a stability solution. You've probably all seen Rex's uh, 9700 video showing the uh, uh, issues with the 9700 stability with the fan turning on and off. Icom did a firmware fix which improved it remarkably, but for many users it's still not good enough, especially Rex. Uh, looking to push the boundaries, you need good stability. So uh, taking up Rex's challenges I like too, Rex is always one to provide a good challenge. I uh, used one of my uh, phase lock loop boards, this is a Rev2 here, to provide a locking facility for the internal oscillator. So essentially we take the 10 megahertz, 10 megahertz comes in from the rear connector as it was available previously. We also uh, take the 49.152 megahertz oscillator. There is a crystal oscillator in here. There is a two doublers and there is a high, fairly good power amplifier driving the doublers and I pick the, uh, using what is essentially a, a miniature ferrite rod antenna, I pick up that 49 megahertz oscillator, amplify it with several tuned radio, t TRF tuned amplifiers, and that goes into the ADF 4157 uh, phase lock loop chip. The 4157 is capable of a very high degree of frequency resolution. The, all the guts are controlled by a small STM32 microprocessor, and there are separate uh, regulators for analog and digital domains. There's also a USB for programming. Uh, these are my programming pins here during manufacture. Uh, the loop filter uses all NPO and film capacitors for zero microphonics, which is, uh, we don't want microphonics getting uh, up such as a loud speaker or uh, knocking on the case getting into the, the system. And uh, two analog low noise op amps form a voltage to current converter, which provides uh, the ability to inject the current into the, into the op amp input uh, of the existing control circuit. So uh, this board can work completely in parallel with the existing uh, control of the device in, in terms that it can, uh, manual control of the oscillator is still possible and the oscillator will track whatever you're doing if it has the 10 megahertz input. To assist alignment or positioning of the, this, the antenna, the inductor is on the bottom of this circuit board and it sits, it sits over the, inside one of the cases. To assist position, we have an LED on here which comes on and tells you when you've got good, the right level. Uh, you've got one wire to eight volts and the other wire is a small wire onto the circuit board which is uh, actually fairly easy to achieve with a one millimeter tip. That's, uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, it follows the fan comfortably and is not ter sensitive terribly to uh, poor 10 megahertz references. That's about all there is to it. It's, uh, and this is uh, available shortly. We're doing a run of 80 boards at the moment. Yeah, they can find it at the website or just look at uh, the VK VHF or the 9700 groups have all the updates on it. I'll be releasing uh, for orders uh, when I actually have physical circuit boards back from the, uh, the fab. The board is actually, what I miss is the board is quite easy to mount. Uh, five castellated holes and then we just solder the, the edge of these pads onto the existing tin, so, tin, tin can. So it doesn't require any screws and it, fitting it should take about five, ten minutes. All right, thanks, Ben. Yeah, welcome.